For sure. Welcome to February, right? And welcome to the Weather Network. Rachel and Christina here with you. And Christina, here's the positive side of Sunday. So much sunshine. I mean, that is fantastic considering that the Atlantic has seen so much active weather. Lots of activity yes, there. For sure. So beautiful. Well, that is in Ontario. So let's get into the system that's approaching. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's going to be a cold weekend mm -hmm. prepping for Oscar Sunday. We can also see that there is that possibility of that mixture mm -hmm. of rain. So we want to be aware of that through Niagara Falls and perhaps even up towards Kingston. Yeah, you got that but I think Christina I'm hoping the timing <laughs> holds on this it should be all out of the way into the Monday morning commute because a system into the Monday morning commute certainly makes it feel like a Monday, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <laughs> I have a feeling that system's heading on east on Monday. Oh, it <laughs> is. So here's a look at some of the snow here. Five centimeters for Toronto, Montreal and Ottawa. You're going to be holding on to that a little bit longer. So they have definitely received an abundant amount of snow and abundant amount of incidents mm -hmm. over the last few days, over 700 yeah. reported. Absolutely. Now here's a look at some of the temperatures for snow is on the way. All right, now let's take you out west and show you some of the scenes here. We love our viewers for being creative. Thank you so much for connecting with us, for sharing your weather story. Let's take into Sunday morning across the prairies. Okay, so we've got some Arctic air mm -hmm. coming in to say hello. Oh, so yeah. We get it's like minus 22, so that is going to be cold. But we're changing the game along the West Coast. Yes, on the West Coast. Rachel, once again, I'm bringing you some happy news because we are having it. clear skies and sunshine. <laughs> Lots of sunshine, drier air builds in. That ridge also looking really nice. So you're going to be enjoying some above seasonal temperatures and you'll get a chance to put the umbrella away. Now you can see more in your local forecast right here. Some light snow throughout the city. Christina and Rachel with you. And as we look at some of the temperatures getting into Sunday, two degrees in Calgary, and you should see a little bit of sunshine. So they, they are clearing up that sun peeking through, and that's going to feel really good. Really good. And not too cold, which is very good as well. Coast, and that's going to keep you dry. Some of these conditions, hey, this almost looks like spring is showing up in Nanaimo, up to seven degrees. We know that that's not going to last too many days, so my advice is just enjoy it while you can. Absolutely. Lagoon and Regina, a light little bit of snow. Not really shovel worthy, but the cold, this is certainly something to talk about like Thursday 25 although there is some sunshine perhaps mm -hmm. a brisk walk is okay if you bundle up you know what it's all about just wearing the right clothes yeah to handle this kind of weather right and we can show you in <laughs> Manitoba and definitely getting colder and getting snowier as well for Ontario yes we are going to be experiencing a little bit more mild temperatures mm -hmm. on Sunday but with that the system coming in bringing us some snow uh, most amount of snow will be north of Ontario into Ottawa and Montreal Toronto receiving about five centimeters all right we want to turn things over now to Chris St. Clair. He has a look at the world's biggest iceberg. It is on the move and we were able to capture some video of it. Have a look at this. Well, after 30 consecutive days of rain in Vancouver, it looks like the West Coast is going to be seeing some well-deserved dry conditions and we need to stay warm. Now, here's Rachel on the science behind those hand warmers. The details coming up. Incidents. Yeah, it was a pretty incredible system that came through. I think a lot of people uh, may have increased the winter fatigue with that yeah. system, but here is the good news. After over 40 centimeters of snow in the eastern townships, up to 50 in the Gas Bay, you've got sunshine for Sunday. Oh, yep. If you're bundled up, totally. You just got to dress right for it. And we're going to see the same kind of story within Atlantic Canada too. Minus nine in Charlottetown, minus seven in Churro and St. John's as well. But you're right. If you dress right, right, winter is not harsh. Winter is not hard to get through. You just got to have the right gear. Absolutely. And take those bricks before the next systems come in, like in the Atlantic. There's a hint for you there. And it does continue through the overnight. Right. So come Oscar Sunday, we are looking <laughs> at some snow. Southern Ontario looking at about five centimeters in Toronto. But Rachel, like you mentioned earlier, look at this. It looks like we may be getting a mix. Yeah, and that's a hint that temperatures are warming up a little to Ottawa and Montreal. Yeah, 5 to 10 centimeters, so not too much with this system. Montreal 5 to 10 as well. Now, Christina, I want to transition to our next story. Has this ever happened to your windshield in the winter? Thankfully, no. Me neither, okay. but it is a scary sight. When you see a truck in front of you with ice and snow flying off of the roof, it can be very dangerous. And for this one family in Cobden, they know this story all too well. Have a look. Thank you for that very important uh, report, Rachel. Now, let's take a look at the weather from coast to coast. Here's what we can expand Montreal. I'll have more details as they unfold up next, your locals. 
Hey, good to see you. We are a week through February, and Christina, boy, that was a cold Saturday. You know it's cold when it looks like you're wearing oven mitts outside. Yeah, in order to keep those <laughs> hands nice and warm, and you may have to do that on Sunday morning. Because, you know, one thing I love about the snow is getting out with my dog. This was Saturday with my puppy, Sunny. She absolutely loves the snowfall. She, she just embraces the season so well. <laughs> oh, that's so nice to hear. But something really important to hear about is how do we take care mm -hmm. of these little pups during these winter months? Yeah, there is a special way to do it and Mark Robinson has all the details. Well we're having a cold weekend in Ontario mm -hmm. but things are going to switch up on Sunday. Rachel are you thinking mild temperature snow or colder weather no snow? What's your favorite? Oh I gotta go with the snow. Yeah. I love getting out in the snow. I support ticks found on a moose. It is a huge issue right now across Canada and you will not believe some of these images. Have a look. Well, one of our top trending stories online is the world's largest iceberg. This iceberg is larger than Prince Edward Island weighing over a trillion tons. It is truly amazing. And this is one of our most popular stories online at theweathernetwork.com. Can you even imagine what that would look like in open waters? I cannot, but I can't wait to hear more. It is pretty amazing. So you can check it out and read the full story and where it's headed today.